Hi, everyone, and as you know, I've been raging at the Switch version, which I've been playing on for my playthrough, because the things are different, so I'm not going to list all the things in the video, but I'm going to list five things different about each version. Alright, number one, character select. Alright, the Wii version. There is none in the Wii U. The Switch. Watch this game. There is. Number two. Characters. All right. Characters, so this screen can be accessed in the Wii version by this. Alright. I'm gonna connect my Wii remote. My dog just ate the fly. Um, Alright, so. For the characters, you need. Oh yeah, so back to number one character select. You can only access in number two, but for for two players. But for number two, actual characters get Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Blue Toad. In this game, the Switch version, Mario, Luigi, Toad, Blue Toad. Toadette and Nebbit. Toadette is not at all the Wii version, but if we go back to, um, actually I have to go back this version. So Nebbit is not in Mario U, but Luigi, which is the hard mode I keep talking about, There he is. Yeah? And Toadette is not at all here. She was original to the Switch version. And you do not get an additional 100 seconds. So let's get to the opening cutscene all right well, let's watch at the big screen as you can see yellow toad swap positions with blue toad and then blue toad was replaced by toadette And as you can see, as you can see from that, they are swapped again in the opening cutscene when they're running. Chosen swap, and that is it for characters. We're going to move on to um to the third one, which is control. The controls are actually different, and this is why I keep complaining about. All right. 
so let me show you real quick. I mostly, the, mo the control I most complain about is double tap spin. Because it was not mapped to that in the original. Let me show you. Wii U. Switch. Wii U. Switch. That is number one. All right. And the items button is different. In the original Wii U, it's B. In the Switch version, it's R. Alright. Second thing. Boost mode. Boost mode, because no one bought the Wii U back then. It was very rare to see a Wii U back then. But there was a little feature called boost mode. My phone has to charge. But yeah, so what is boost mode? It allows you to play with a extra controller. It allows you to play with an extra controller while you are while you are playing with the gamepad. That's charge too, crap. Well, I gotta get this done quick. Alright, so let me show you what I mean. This is not all in the Switch version, which means I only need to show the gamepad. Because you probably do not remember boost mode. So in boost mode, while I'm controlling the Pro Controller, I can do that. And I'm controlling... No, I'm not... I died to the Goomba again because I wasn't paying attention. But yeah. So yeah, I get to activate boost blocks. And as you can see in the back there, I get to start level and I press this. You can see Mario jumping with this. Pretty cool. Now, and I get to use boost blocks on this, and that's pretty cool. All right, for the fifth and final thing is, um, very, very, very um, important. Is that Navit carrying abilities? It's actually not that important, but I'm going to I'm gonna quit out of the menu on the Switch version. Actually, I should have just switch character. Hold on. I'm gonna get an extra controller. 
Actually, I have to get two. Sorry. I'm gonna go and and this is why I never use an abbot in my challenge rooms. So that is good. I'm gonna switch one to an abbot. Now I'm going to exit out on this. Undertale Sire, and I am going to, and also there's other things that Nabbit can't do, like hatch Yoshis, and hold on to shells, he do none of that in the Switch version, he can in Switch, but the most important thing is that you cannot carry Nabbit, and I'm going to connect Two controllers. One's gonna be Nabbit. By the way, if you hold ZL in single player on the Wii U version, you get to switch to Nabbit. So I gotta let that play. Oh yeah, and also, um, like I showed you earlier, Blue Toad is there and they swap positions from the Switch version. Let me hear the audio of the. We're gonna hear the audio of my. I did not mean to do that. Why? Why would you turn up to forty nine? I didn't even set it to forty nine. Like, what was that? What was that all about? Company. Ankaya. What? What was that? Ankaya. Why? Hope you're hearing this, okay? All right, and there you go. So, I'm going to Waddle Wing Warning. And by the way, you can't use ZRZL, that's another control thing, but look, I cannot. Look at that. Um, I really wish this had a stand, but can't do it in that. In the Switch version. is the inferior one in my opinion um um oh yeah i gotta do with this one because i said luigi did two player 
Okay, so. Look at this very closely. I can carry Nabbit in this version. Those are five things about the um, Wii and Switch version that are different. And out of all these things, I say that the Wii version is definitely better. If you already have a Switch, then just buy a Wii U for $300 and buy the game on the Wii U because this right here is bad. It's a bad, inferior version. Alright guys, bye.